Hello everyone, I'm Eden Patterson and I'm going to be comparing the total number of cases reported to the CDC between the years of 2020 to 2023 for COVID-19. So let's see. As of today, as from 2020 to 2021 to 2022, there's been a total number of 104,093,499 cases reported to the CDC. The total number of deaths has been 1,132,132. So cases in 2020, the, 2020 was whenever COVID-19 started to spread rapidly and the nation went on to lockdown. It was a stay-at-home mandate. Also, there were mask mandates as you didn't could not go into a public setting without wearing a mask. Masks were required in most businesses. The total number of cases reported in 2020 was over 20 million. Total number of deaths were about 380,000. So now we go to 2021. This is whenever the nation started to open back up and more people were going back to work. Um, it wasn't just essential workers like grocery stores and gas stations, stuff like that, you know, electric, electricians, stuff like that people needed. So now you're talking about hair salons, um, shopping centers, really anywhere, dentist offices. So all these places started to open back up in 2021. Mask mandates were not as strict. So a lot of times just employees were required to wear a mask, but um, people shopping at places, they did not have to wear the mask unless, you know, the business required it. Um, COVID vaccine trials also started in 2021, so whenever everybody started to kind of have the debates of if they trusted the vaccines or if they didn't trust the vaccines or who was going to get the vaccine and who didn't qualify for them. This was also during the time that the effects of the vaccines were being tested, like how they were start to affect the people, just like the Johnson & Johnson um COVID-19's vaccine was giving people blood clots, so they had to do a recall on that vaccine. But also, um, the total number of cases for COVID-19 in 2021 were over 35 million. Um, the total number of deaths were at an all-time high of 470,000 because the vaccine was not as popular to get at this time. Now we flash forward to 2022. This is whenever the mask mandates have been completely uh, lifted. The vaccines become more popular and businesses like hospitals and, you know, preference, they all started to require their employees to have the COVID vaccine to be able to work there. Also, a lot of vacation destinations like cruises and uh, um, a lot of where people would be more in a public setting, they were starting to require their visitors and residents to have the vaccine to either board the cruise ship or to stay in the condo or resort that they were wanting to stay at. Also, airlines are now um, requiring the COVID-19 vaccine before you can board the airplane. So the total number of cases reported in 2022 was over 47 million. However, the deaths dropped to a drastic low of 270,000. I believe this is because the vaccines have helped decrease death rate. It's helping our bodies fight the virus and helping with exposure to the virus. And the total number of deaths compared to the other two years has very much decreased. Thank you.